Such a huge part of building a brand that is trusted and popular is creating content. In this final episode of my series on creating branding, we're going to head into Adobe Express and I'm going to share some tips and ideas of how you can create on-brand engaging content as quickly as possible. One of my favorite time-saving features in Adobe Express is the brand kit, but also apply brand. So I'm going to go and find a template that I think will work for Whisk. And I actually think this menu is really cute and the checkerboard reminds me of the pattern that I made for the brand. So all I need to do is select the template that I want to use. And then if I head over to brands and I've got my whisk brand up and you'll see at the top here, there's this button called apply brand. So I'm going to click on that and you'll see that it's changed it to some of my brand colors. The header is in my header font. Now I don't really like these colors, but if I keep cycling through, it's going to give me different options. Now I'm just going to go and delete all of these squares in the background because I want to add the pattern that I created to this background. So I'm going to scroll down to assets, double click on the pattern, and then I'm just going to scale it up and move it to the back. And you'll see over on the right here, I've got my layers panel. So I'm just going to scroll that down to the back. And now I can just go in and tweak some of these elements. So I'm going to take away these because they're not relevant to what I'm doing. And I'm going to go back into assets and find a couple of my icons to use and just like resize them and place them around. And you'll see that really quickly I have taken what was a template for a pastry shop and I've turned it into something for my matcha cafe. And all I would need to do now is go in and change this menu to the drinks that I've got on that week. Now it might be that once I've created this, I want to resize it and use it in different places. So all I need to do is go to resize and then I basically get given a shopping list that I can just select what I want. So I'm gonna make an Instagram square post, maybe a Facebook post, an Instagram story, and then I'm gonna click duplicate and resize so I can go in and post this to my Instagram story. And you'll see that I am creating content for my brand in minutes based off a template that was already available in Adobe Express. Now it might be that you want to make your own templates and also I've made some for you which you can download in the caption below. But let me show you how to make your own template. So let's say you want to make a testimonial template that you can use over and over again. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to go Instagram portrait and I'm going to start constructing my posts. So I'm going to change the background color and you'll see that my brand colors are immediately here. I'm going to quickly add the logo. So I'll just put that up in the top there. And then I want to find some stars that I can put here. So I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to put review stars. And you'll see we have this one come up, which is great. I am going to adjust the colors of this so that it's my brand color. Now you'll notice that there doesn't seem to be a place where I can adjust the color of this. So all I need to do is go into effects. I can go into custom and I can select. I just need to make sure that the shadows and highlights are selected and it'll turn it into my brand color. And then I'm going to add some text. And when I click add text, it comes in a source sans. But if I click the drop down, you'll see that my brand fonts are right there at the top. So I'm going to put these in my body copy text. And I've got some testimonials that I can copy and paste in. We can adjust like the text box so we can get the sort of size that we want. And then I'm going to add the name at the bottom. I'm actually going to use the heading font for this increase the size slightly and I'm going to change the color to the green as well. So here we've created ourselves a nice template. Now what I want to do is create a whole bunch of these in different colors. So all I need to do is click out of here to the sort of overall view, go to the three dots in the top right hand corner and click duplicate page. And then I'm just going to go in and adjust all the colors. And I've got all of my branding available to me really quickly. So within minutes, I've got a whole series of different testimonials. I'm going to change the background to the green. 
change this to the gray and very very quickly we're getting a whole series of testimonials that we could use as a carousel post and i think would really stand out on instagram so you can see there we have our three posts now it might be that you're happy with your template and you want to save it so that other people in your team can use it so what i'm going to do is go to share make template i'm going to call this whisk testimonials i'm going to write a note to the team and then it's going to save it into my whisk branding now it might be that you don't want to share your whole brand kit with someone you just want to share this testimonial with someone on the team so all you need to do is go to share and you would put in their name here and it's simply a case of clicking return writing a message if you want to now you can choose whether they can edit or just comment and that's as, as simple as that and they'll get sent an email and now they can access this template that you have made so you've made these posts and you're happy with how they're all looking but now it's time to schedule them now you could either schedule all three of them as a carousel post or you could just schedule one if you want to just schedule one then just uncheck the ones that you don't want and make sure that the one page you want to schedule has got this purple border around it. I'm going to go for a carousel post so I'm going to click all three. I'm going to go back to the share button in the top right hand corner and I'm going to click share to social. So you just need to select the social media accounts that you want to post to. You can do multiple in one time. Then you can add a caption. Now there's an AI tool in Adobe Express so if writing captions isn't your bag it can help you. Let me write something to get it started. And now I just need to click on generate. Now I can ask it to rewrite, shorten or lengthen. I'm gonna click lengthen and we'll see what it comes up with. And if I'm happy with how it is, I'm gonna click insert and then I can always go in and tweak things if something's not right. I can then preview it. So see how it's gonna look on Instagram. This is my carousel here. I can add a first comment. So if you want to add your hashtags in the first comment, for example, you can put that there. And then I can either save it as a draft or I can publish it. So I'm gonna save it as a draft for a few days time and click add draft. Now, one of my all time favorite tips when it comes to scheduling your content on social media so that you get the absolute maximum out of it is once you've got a post that you're happy with and you've scheduled, Go to the scheduler. So if I click view in calendar, you'll be able to see it. So here is my uh, draft post. But what I want to do is use this post again. So what I'm going to do is scroll down to the bottom and go more options and duplicate post. And I'm going to actually schedule this again for six months time. So then when I'm going through um, my calendar, in May and I'm looking for something to post and I haven't got anything, I will find this as a draft in my calendar ready to be used again. Because let's be honest, people aren't gonna remember, we'll have new followers by then and they're gonna appreciate the post for a second time. Now, the other thing that Adobe Express is great for is making video. So here's a quick video that I put together using stock video that's available in Adobe Express. So if you go to media and click on videos, I just searched matcha and it came up with lots of options Options that I could use and I just piece together different clips and put some text and the logo over in my branding so if I just play through you'll see how these then feed together I can also add transitions so if I go to the little plus button here in between the two clicks I can go add transition and it's going to give me a few options I'm going to click dissolve and so now if we just play that you'll see how it dissolves from one shot into the other the other thing that is brilliant is that you can also add music and sound effects so again in media if I click on audio and I'm going to search for something relaxing and it's going to give me different options so I'm going to click that one you'll see it appears here on my timeline so I've actually created this video so that you can use it also so this is going to be one of the templates that it's provided if you click the link below and all you need to do is go in and change the text and the logo to your branding you can easily switch out the video clips by selecting the video clip you want to replace and clicking this button or you'll see the replace here click replace and then you can either choose a new video from the stock library available in adobe express or you can click upload from device if you don't want to start from a blank page then i have made some templates for you which you can use 
based on the designs that I have already created for Whisk. So all you need to do is access this template, click apply brand and update with your colors and logos and they're all ready for you to use. So that is the end of my series on designing branding. I have loved putting this together and I really hope that you've enjoyed going through the process step by step helpful. If you have any questions, pop them below and I'll do my best to answer them. Follow me on Instagram where my handle is at Liz M. Mosley to see more of what I'm up to and hopefully I'll see you on an Adobe Live soon. So don't forget to subscribe.